would have been the backbone of its fleet, all 370 of its MD-80s, built by McDonnell Douglas before the fully automated cockpits of today. The kind of plane old school pilots love to fly. It's like an old shoe. They're very comfortable in it. They're, it's, it's such a reliable, uh, just good, solid airplane. After passengers departed in Dallas, 595 was off again, headed for its final resting place. On its logbooks, 71,000 hours of flight time. More than 31,000 takeoffs and landings. That means over the course of this plane's life, more than 4 million people have flown in these seats. It wasn't long before we were on the ground in Roswell, New Mexico, the dry boneyard for hundreds of planes that have served their time. Every make, model, and brand. Many of them cannibalized to keep planes that are still flying in the air. This is where planes go to die, dismantled piece by piece. This once proud 747, now a relic. It's really an inglorious end for these icons of the jet age. Now salvaged for spare parts and scrap metal. But more modern, more fuel-efficient planes mean this pilot's favorite is nearly obsolete. So every week for the next two years, yet another MD-80 will touch down for the last time. Tom Costello, NBC News, Roswell, New Mexico. We have late word tonight of an emergency involving Alaska Airlines flight from Seattle bound for Los Angeles. The airline says that shortly after takeoff, the pilot reported hearing banging. After immediately landing back in Seattle, a ramp agent was found inside the front cargo hold. The airline says the worker appeared okay, but was taken to the hospital as a precaution. The aircraft was in the air for a total of 14 minutes. No word yet exactly how this happened. The incident is obviously under investigation. When we come back, how young is too young for children?